Hello guys, Zanaki here. And uh, in this video, it's going to be more of like a bit of a blog post. So just kind of what's going on with me and uh, what plans I've got for QuakeCon in the future. It's really focusing on how QuakeCon is going to go and what it can mean for me to win. Because I think for a lot of people, sometimes it's it's realizing that even though we've only got one tournament for Quake, it's actually much bigger than than we understand it to be. I think for motivation for different people can can have different meaning. Um, sometimes people can be motivated by their own desire or maybe they've got a need that needs satisfying, whether it's they want to tell themselves they can achieve a certain goal or you know get to a certain rank. But for me, I feel like my motivation really comes from uh, the people. I like to do it for myself and I want to prove it to myself. Um, I think sometimes when you come against, you know, when you come against people, you're often having to, you know, no, nobody wants to lose in a head-to-head -head battle because it's clear as to who, you know, well, he, he beat you. You know, the other guy came out on top. The whole purpose of the game is to is to win. And I know that sounds like kind of strange to say, but oftentimes I feel like motivation is so interesting to me. When I've noticed myself when... I've been more motivated to play a game and less motiv motivated to play other games. And I'm trying to figure out, well, what's the key, what's the key factor here? Because obviously it's, it's something. Trying to find out what the trigger points are for you. You know, whether it's a good thing in it or a bad thing. I think sometimes you don't want to have motivation, which is driven by ill intent. You know, for example, to push someone else down so you can get ahead. Because obviously that doesn't last very long, but also it's not really mentally healthy you end up making yourself sick by doing that but more of a positive motivation uh, with the positive motivation is really focusing on what the positives are which is like you know your life becomes better you have more opportunities you see different level of the game you have you weren't able to reach before and i think when you really tap into that and really focus into that then all of a sudden when issues arise you're not as deterred. You're not as stopped by another person who is trying to prevent you from the goal. And I know that, like, you know, especially in this one-on-one -on -one game, and, you know, there's a lot of personalities out there, uh, some more vocal than others, activating in different ways. It's more important than ever to really focus on yourself. Um, and I know that's kind of a bit of a catch-22 because oftentimes we slip in and out of that mindset we go from not focusing on ourselves see what other people are doing trying to compare ourselves to that and then it's kind of come coming back to this and just seeing what you can do and realizing that it's your life at the end of the day it's not no one else's anyone else's life to live and it's all you know trying to navigate through that again i think in terms of practice it's trying to make best with the environment that we're all, we're all in because sometimes while playing online and trying to make the most of it it's like it's not always true practice because you're not really going to see what it's going to be like until you actually do get to the land and you see how people behave and that's why sometimes i think it's also important to take you know practice with a grain of salt because what we what we see in a practice game is not necessarily what's going to happen in a tournament match i mean i've seen plenty of times where i've either be i've I've been not playing very well in practice then absolutely dominate the match or I've dominated the practice and lost the match. Um, with QuakeCon though, um, I think it's going to be tense for a lot of people because obviously there's you know, people facing potential relegation with the groups and a lot of people, you know, first time in America since 2019, so like four years at least. I think for a lot of people it's about proving a point. Um, you know, you've got Kilson coming back, second time potential champ, Rafa, home turf. Venga has done it online, but hasn't done it on LAN. Uh, Razy had, hasn't won one yet. Um, I'm really kind of quite motivated to get myself in there. Maxter is quite in there too. He's obviously done really well for himself. So there's no guarantee for who wins what, but I think ultimately, like I said, for the first two points, talking about life, talking about motivation, it's coming to a place of whatever happens that you put your, your best self out there and that don't come back from that tournament with any regrets uh, with you for the rest of your life. You know, you're putting 
your absolute best effort, what you can do. And from here on out, you know, that's what you do. You just do your best. Uh, lastly, guys, I've just got a little point how you guys can support me. So if you ever want to drop me a follower on Twitch, sub, donate, just support me on social media. I do appreciate that. Um, anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this type of video. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.